Hey everyone, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use X references or X refs, as they're called for short, to bring data from other drawings into your current drawing. This is primarily useful uh, to help keep your drawing organized, as well as to separate things out into different uh, categories. For instance, in this example, I'm going to bring in two X refs into the current drawing that I've got open here. The first one is going to be uh, property lines that say a client sends you or you download off of a city website. The second one will be the proposed footprints for buildings going in these uh, this new property. And then I'm going to show you how you can draw on top of them without affecting the original drawings. This is uh, useful to save space as well as you don't need to copy all of that data into each new drawing. They sit in their own drawing separately and link to your current drawing. Uh, I'll show you what I mean, and if you have any questions at all, just post them up in the comments section. Let's start. So this is just a blank new drawing, and I'm going to go up top here to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and I'm going to go to Reference, and click this little down arrow. There's a few other ways, like you can just click Attach here, but I can like the, the little window so I can see what's attached and what's not. So you're going to go over here to the External Reference menu, and right click. This brings up your selections. I'm going to choose attach DWG, which is another drawing. You can also attach an image, like a background image, or something that you've scanned in and you're going to trace or use as a guideline. DWFs, DGNs, or a PDF. So we're going to attach DWG. I like to set up my folders like this. We are in our current drawing where this will be saved. And then in that drawing folder, I leave the XRS. So we're going to bring in property lines. We're going to leave these, leave the scale. You don't want to change that. And don't change the insertion point. This means that if it's geo referenced or based on any kind of coordinates, it'll come in at the exact same spot that it's supposed to. And you can leave the uh, rest of the details here. Just click OK. Now, this is in our drawing. To see everything, you're going to hit Z, space, enter, E, enter, and that's going to show the extents of our drawing. So this is our property line that we've brought in. Uh, it looks like it's a cul-de-sac with uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, oh, about 15 or so properties. Next, we're going to attach, by right-clicking over here, another drawing. And we're going to bring in proposed footprints. This could be anything again. Uh, it's not like you need to be doing uh, civil stuff for this. You can use it for mechanical drawings or house plans. It's especially useful then. You can bring in different uh, pieces of your house plan and keep them all separate. Uh, we're going to leave all the settings the same again and click OK. As you can see, they came in in the right spot. Um, I can't edit these as it is. To edit uh, an XREF, you click it and you can, up here, you can edit it in place, which edits it inside the drawing that we're in or you can open the XREF. So if I click Open XREF, it opens the original drawing that we're referencing. You can make changes in here. So let's say I want to move this corner like that. Now we go up to, we save this drawing up here, click Save, and we close the drawing. Now, this drawing, the one that references the property line drawing, it's going to have this bubble in the corner here. It's going to ask you to reload the property line drawing because the original has changed. So you click the reload button and you can see that the change we made has been changed in this drawing as well as in the original. This is especially useful if you're working on group projects. When somebody modifies all of your drawings, the uh, XREF drawings, when you come into your drawing, you reload the drawings and all of the updated versions are brought in automatically. Now the other option is to edit in place. Now this does the same thing, so you want to be careful because you're permanently editing the referenced drawing. So if you click the yellow uh, footprints here, click Edit XREF in place, it's going to ask you which reference you want to edit, click OK. So we're going to change this footprint, we're going to add a vertex and go like that. Now over here on the right, you're going to Save Changes. And click OK. And there. Now the original is changed like this, as well as our version. 
So now comes the uh, part where you can add in on top of this. So let's say we want to add in uh, a polyline that shows where the connections are coming out of the houses for, let's say, water or sewer. So just say, for example, it comes out straight like that for all these houses. I'm just going to do a few here to show you. Now this isn't how it would ever do this, but let's say that's our water line for those houses. And it's going to go over here and then out. Doesn't make sense, but let's just go with that. Now you can save this drawing. I'm going to go up and put it in the folder above. Let's say water line example. Enter. So now we've got a drawing with our polygon or our polylines for our water line, and we haven't modified any of these. Now we can uh, simply save this and close it. And now if we open either of those other drawings, we haven't added anything to these, we haven't changed them, but we still have a new drawing where the changes are active. So there you go. That's how uh, a quick rundown of how X references work, or external references, and how they can be used in a practical application. Again, if you have any questions or you want me to elaborate on anything at all, just leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.